welcome back everyone um we are in this episode going to start it off by basically joining our first day at hogwarts and seeing how how that goes and taking it as it comes and see how that goes um we're going to start off by going to go meet professor weasley outside the common room uh oh i need to go downstairs it's now going to say i'm above where i need to be hi itchy hello for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. I can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially Hello. as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. Your owls. 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 Yes. Your ordinary wizarding level exams. Lol. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. This is not my extra lessons. So that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Okay. Thank you, Professor. But what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Sounds good. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. And I learn forbidden spells too. Asking for a friend, not not for me. Just just asking for a friend. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Lumos. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. This bust created in honor of Ravenclaw House resides on the lofty Ravenclaw Tower. Okay. Let's unlock the field guide challenge. You will progress towards completing challenges appear here. Another two. Sugar challenges are only a way to acquire experience points or XP. As your wizardry level, XP earned from challenges increase your level and power. Ooh, your field guides tracks your current challenge progression. Select the challenges menu to continue. Okay, collecting your first guide page unlock a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Select the guy the field guide page to continue. Oh, okay. Collect two field guide pages in Hogwarts. And you get glasses. Okay. Rewards must be claimed from the challenge menu. Come back often to collect your rewards you've unlocked. Okay. open for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle rebellion now i'm just going to reveal on everything ah there we go now i can start seeing things okay books and robes i've just got one robe and we i've got gloves now Okay. This way, I put glasses. Yeah, we'll put glasses on. I wear glasses in anyway, so. Now we won't be wearing a hat. Neckwear. 
Uh, we don't need a scarf. Outfits, uh, we'll leave the outfit for now. We need to unlock a mount still, a broom, and a wand. Where's my inventory? Quest items, notes, resources, is fine. Collections. Okay, challenges. Here we go. This is what I want to see. Yeah, appearance rewards. Okay. It doesn't actually tell you. Where's my current quest? Start your first day. Welcome to Hogwarts has been done. Okay. Following her for now. And then map. How does the map look? Ooh, that's nice actually. Grand staircase. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, I saw something there now. Collection. Classes to attend. I'm not the one walking slow. You're the one walking slow. Ah, okay. T gives all my spells. I have lint. Okay, so I got Protego, obviously. Got Stupefy. Got the basic cast, and I've got Revelio. And then that's Lumos, obviously. Okay, cool. Rebellion. Oh, that's obviously for something later. Ah. Okay, that's obviously for that door then. He. I'm jumping ahead of the game right now. opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker blue flames it contains a map of the castle open it up and find central hall okay opening the map up Hogwarts is divided into two main areas left side of the map is where the students and professors live and includes house com common rooms and great hall okay Select the grand staircase. Ah. In this view, you can see flu flames available in your region. Green flu flames represent flu flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. Gray flu flames is the ones you have. Okay, that's fine. The right hand side of the map is you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouse. Okay, there's flu flames there. Use A and D. Ah, there's one there. Ooh, interesting. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. It is quite a time saver. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Okay. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. But just and two. I'd like wow. to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Uh, yeah. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Okay. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. 
A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Auras. We are lucky to have the ever gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Okay, what's Hogsmeade? Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to beer. absorb on mm. your first day. Sounds and interesting. To learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Um, no, we're gonna leave it. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh. Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfect oh, we... boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me. As I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Sounds good. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? Yes. <laughs> I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of and she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us Understood. I don't trust the headmaster now as capable as you are I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well trained happily you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you speaking of guides and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. The quest represents the main quest. Completing main quests will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. Some quests are locked by spells and slash or level requirements to have a lock over. In these cases, you will need to be required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments. But basically like a check mark quest or as a quest reward. Okay. Track a quest with right click.
The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. Oh, I like a bone wand. Wandander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Thank you, sir. Cross charmed compass. Oh, it actually guides you to where you need to be. That's pretty cool. Revelio. Nothing here. Okay. Let us begin our first class. Here, behind you. Let's say, oh no. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> oh, shit. Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the Color change and growth charms. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm hmm? Hmm. Um, well, he's got his work cut out for him we are in dire need of review everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands only one book will be needed per partnership miss dale thank you get into place now He Acio Accio Accio Ow It's mine. That is not bad. Your turn. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Okay. Ooh. 
I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> Why must the newest guy go first? Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres. Akio, relinquish your charm. Very good. Not too oh. Now, uh, think of this like gobstone. Splendid. Stay focused. Excellent control there. Aha. Okay, okay. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? He's now about to ace it. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Okay. Yes, I understand how this works now. Boom. Very good. Let us see this. Okay. Okay. I see you. I see you. Don't roll off. Yes. Okay. I need to get this. Boom. <laughs> Suck it. A perfect score. Remarkable. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? is interesting <laughs> oh interesting at this point oh awesome. interesting chatter focus now you will need it this round settles it all here we go yeah. okay I pushed to 50. That's not fair. There we go. Brilliant. Ah, let it go too soon. into the box there we go yeah that is how it's done. Okay. i need to get this 50 now boom yeah. i could have aced it again with the 150 but they got too soon. Well done. Mm. 
containers were vulnerable to certain spells and techniques in your arsenal. Visit the collections menu to discover. Ah. Good game, Buster. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. And with you. And oh, with you. I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. He can Until wait. He can wait. Of course, you can use Akio in humans. If you're such. Revelio. Oh, there's a flame below me. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Okay. I'm gonna start getting special assignments from them. Good to, to you. Hello. How was your first day coming along? It was fine, thank you. Rebellion. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Where were, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the the Minister for Magic was Albert Booth. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, well, okay. That won't say my goodbye. So. The boy who says you're telling I'm lies. telling lies, please. Horse it is. Albert no, it wasn't. It was Basil huh? Flat. Oh! We need to figure out how this works. Was the Minister of Booth or the Minister of Flat? I'm going to have to figure out how this works. In trouble you will be, but you can't get Pete to smack. She says it's a Booth and he Rebellion. says it's a Flat. Pete, enough. You'll get us all detention. And you're both wrong anyway. It was Professor Shaw. It wasn't booth and it wasn't Okay. Let's go to our... Let's go to our map. A little side quest as well. Cool. We are going to track our next class. Rebellion. Off on another adventure, are we? Wait a minute, this went off here. What is this? I can't do anything there yet, so... And now I'll just run this way. Interesting. Do, 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 do. Up. 
We go. Oh, yeah, we go. Begin our quest. blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. Especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. Starting with something small. Livio so charm. Whoops. Levioso. Oh, I got this. Livio saw. Now, let's try something a little larger. Oh, me. Okay, cool. Thanks. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dump deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. As okay. Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate. So, now, well done. Aha! Okay. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll give me the no, give me the big mouth that was talking earlier. Oh, you're chuckling. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing. But battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. I shame. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. D 
didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know... He doesn't need to know we fought before this. ...perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Ooh. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Thank you for the invite. Ah, oh, I'm level two now. What are you up to now? None of your business, thank you, lady. Oh, I have a cape coming up soon. Let's just put on better glove. Nope, I do not. Those ones. Uh, actually, here we go. Weasley off the class. This is the one I want to do now. So actually, maybe I should go do that. Ah, oh, additional content. There's only one thing I don't have. I've got the Merlin's Rock Arts robe I've got. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's continue. To talk to Mrs. Weasley. <clears throat> Let's go get ourselves what a wand. Room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Bill. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Dink. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Again. Nope. Nothing more, Professor. I see. It's like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Uh, now, regarding okay. the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spellcrafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander, 
will connect you with the perfect wand. Yay! You your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very Let's well. go. Let's go. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I think let's go with Natty. I'd like to go with Natty. Sebastian's gonna cause trouble. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Do they encourage drinking at this at, at Hogwarts? Like. Yeah, let's do Professor Ronan's assignment. I'll do the other one later. It's a side quest. Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Time is the types of quests. That's fine. That's right here. Right here. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up. Makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Huh. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. I'll Let's do it. Task right away, Professor. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Rebellion. Levioso. Aha, got you. Let me just unlock that quickly. Um, that will be challenges, I believe. Hee hee. Flying page must be around here somewhere. Got you. Brilliant. I trust the preliminary task. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Yes. Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Repairo. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps the jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out.
Happy Homie? Oh, I was gonna do my other task now. But okay, let's my just do this one, it's fine. Let's go. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. It's obviously outside the I was glad Professor the doors. asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better deal. Rebellion. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. I cannot tell you how nice Damn. it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Rebellion. Looking for anything specific that I can unlock. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Don't worry, me too. I did not grow up oh, around wait, snow. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you kill them, you can also use them in potion making. What the hell? Rebellion. Oh, okay, I obviously can't get that now. Look, from the Forbidden Forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something started them. I, I will be using one. That will be my mount. I am saying it now. I will be capturing me a hippogriff. Absolutely. That's a Ooh. forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to There we go. Flame sorted. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. Just I saying, they could have taught me to fly first. The area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say. I mean, imagine we had our broom now. Class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you find you feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful oh. here too. <laughs> and getting out of the castle and exploring helps me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss Lanai. Uh, turn and run. 
Is everything all right, sir? He's drunk. Oh, look right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon say? Jellies, guys. Ugly and airy and terrified. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon. A demigod. I think he had too much fun in the village. I think I he's said too much butter beer. Such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Sounds good. I think I might just take that take that offer. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomstick is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honeydew. Wait, wait, I need to get books. Is a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Oh, okay. Rebellion. Thank you. There's more to this place though. Hehe. <laughs> I just wanna go and collect that stuff. Claiming that, thank you. And I need to do eight of them. Oh. Uh. Oh. Ah, it's that. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at Hope your so. own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Sounds good. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Need to open the map. Okay. Let's see. That is Brood and Pick. That is Clothing Shop. That is going to be Supply Shop. Beast Supply Shop. Okay. Peter's Saloon. Okay. Oak Shop. Three Broomsticks. Ollivanders, sporting goods shop. Oh, maybe I can buy me a broom. Okay, I think we're gonna start with. Go back to the. Let's go to the bookshop. Oops. May have turned the graphics up a bit too much. It's lagging, sir. An inquiring mind. Okay. Speak to this guy. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcraft Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought Matilda I might Weasley. See you soon. I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but...
But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. That's good to know. Now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A Thank you. table and a potion station. Yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Give it to me all. Nothing like being able to plan and pay for it. Ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Okay. What do we have? Got cutting table. Oh, it's I will purchase it. It cost me nothing. And if potion station. Feel free to take a look around. At the rest of my I don't have money for the rest of the inventory, but thank you for the offer. <laughs> that ain't going to happen. <laughs> okay. Next, we're going to go to I'm going to go to the Magic Neep first, then this one, and the Ollivander's last. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin, Baynum, starting Hogwarts as a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neat. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a package of Dittany seeds? That'd be great, thank you. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Why is everyone so damn expensive? The next one is just here at least. Welcome to J. Pippin's push and rebellious. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Larwang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspect that if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it yes, not please. Most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake. They are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? I shall do Not so. Now. Let's get you those recipes, shall we?
This place of a great do for you today. Causes a rocky film to develop on the consumer's skin, helping you protect you from harm. Okay. And then the healing potion. Okay. Feel Fine for me. Look at the rest of my inventory. No, or thank you. Come back another time if you're in a rush today. I shall do that. And the last one is Ollivander. <laughs> I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Ooh. Well, go ahead, swish. Swish? Nope. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oof. That's not good. Oh yeah. This isn't a good match at all, is it? No, please keep it. Take it away. Take it away. Yourself. I'll find you something not to worry. Hmm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heart string. Ooh. Let's give this one a try. I like. That looks interesting. <laughs> That's a nope. Yeah, no, keep it, keep it. I don't want it. Proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here. Are you going to tell me what the core is made out of in that? Notched warm brown elm. Core is unicorn hair. Quite bendy. Ooh. How intriguing. Curious indeed. If you'll we'll keep that. Wood type is well, it's what the game's given, so I think I'll just take wood uh cool. The hair of the unicorn that serves as the core of a wand known for producing consistent magic. Dragon heart strings that serve as a core of the one known for producing powerful magic. And the feather of a phoenix that serves as a core of the one capable of producing great range of magic. I think I'll just keep this one for now. What do you think? It's talking to me. 
It must be mine. Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> what do I do with my old one? Do I keep it? Do I hand it in? Do I trade it? Do I sell it? Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Indeed. Treat it well, and you shall find no more dependable a wand than one with a unicorn hair core. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. I shall do so. Thank you. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Rebellious. So she's in the middle there. Wait, there was more I saw, yeah. Okay, you want to be so? Rebellious. Any more things flying? Yes, here we go. Is it another one? Oh, can't go this way. Come to me, thank you. Rebellion. Oh, I saw something here. Yeah. I saw something. Oh, maybe I'm imagining things. Blue 
Okay, there is one more flying book somewhere. Okay. We go up there now and see. Maybe it's the side somewhere. Interesting. Does it do anything? Deal. Come to me. <laughs> Come to me. Yep. Ah, I got a new hat. Because this is in Hogsmeade, this is in Hogwarts. Cool. Let's go. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> We should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Something's breaking. Oh, shh. That's... Oh, it's wearing the same armor as the dragon and the... the Ragrock that I... I think it's Ragrock. The goblin. You're running into town where there is buildings. Oh, there's two. Okay, let's do this, buddy. Oh, I forgot to dodge. the wrong key Invoke ancient magic. Look at this! Turned not. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? No, it so. ran away. It ran away, lady. Blur, to be honest. Merlin, it's not true. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of Honora, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Repair us. Unless 
best thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Okay, that's five. Oh, there we go. What's the biggest of it all? It sticks. Talking about you. Please don't talk about me behind my back. Hello, sir. It's not very nice. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an order of learning, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank, Thank you. you. I won't say no. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? What are you giving me? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Ooh, offense is plus five. Yep, I'll take it. Okay. I'm gonna put that on. Plus five. Nice. I can't afford anything else, so for now that's fine. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the Three Broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. I said rebellious, battle-worthy items. Should you be Ooh. Most welcome to peruse my shop. At your leisure. Just want to check this chest, open that thing. I'll find a way to open that. <laughs> Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. We're just following people now. Oh. You said you could get to the charred room Rock. to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Interesting. It's a treat to see you, Lord God. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. 
Hi, thank you. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, uh, timing. Was that Logog I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. Mm, no. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Yeah, send it back. Send it back. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Okay. Let's go talk to Nettie out there. Oh, let me just do this first. Oh, there's chests up here. And three gold. Up over here. More gold. Ooh, there's some stuff upstairs here. Rebellion. I think on that level. Oh, it's locked. I wonder. No, I need to... Obviously, need to learn a certain spell and get levels in that. That's all good. It's all good. Okay, let's go talk to Natty. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Rookwood and Harlow. I want to yeah, Rookwood and Harlow. And I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. I think Professor they Lucy thought they could try their luck. Attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. But I'm sure I can take Rookwood and Harlow. You must return to your common room for the night. Access the map. That saves so much running. And now that I've got the portals in in Hogsmeade, it's gonna save me so much time as well. Aha, okay, so we've ended that's basically the night. So day one is done. Day one is done. And we're level five now. Hey. Let's see quickly. We're now level five. Okay, I think I'm going to call it there. And we will start basically day two. No, we'll start day two. Um, in the next episode. I just want to identify everything that we've now... Oh, and that's new. Okay, cool. 
Hi guys, thanks very much for joining in. As usual, like and subscribe. And um, yeah, have a good one further. I'll check in the next one.